Hello you lovely people this is me the Bombay chef Varun Namdar and welcome to get curry. Today's recipe is a chicken recipe somewhere from Hyderabad. Well I was recently in Hyderabad at a friend's place and the mother came up with this wonderful recipe called chicken lal pari. Should I show you? Let's begin. I'm going to make a marination for this for which I'm going to use a combination of chilies now these are dried red chilies kashmiri and bedgi you can spice it up the way you please you can add in some green chilies as well in this recipe but the whole idea is to make this nice and bright red in color so let's snip in the stalks and i'm going to use the chilies with their seeds well generally red chilies are soaked in water overnight and things like that some people also soak it for like an hour in uh, warm water but i prefer making it like that to this i'm going to add in garlic cloves ginger with its skin on all that wonderful fiber and flavor to this i'm going to add in some tomatoes these are ripe red tomatoes well this is just the beginning because to smoke this recipe there's a wonderful trick and i'm going to show you that next i'm going to keep this aside and take an inch long uh, cinnamon well this is very thin so i am taking 2 inches but otherwise we have this nice thick a piece of cinnamon 1 inch is just perfect i'm going to light the flame and place this piece so that it flames up in goes this piece of cinnamon well this is going to add in that wonderful smokiness in this lal pari Next I'm going to add in some peppercorns garam masala salt and finally I'm going to cover this and grind this into a fine paste The marination paste is done and ready the next step obviously is to marinate the chicken I'm going to take this wonderful spicy tomatoey paste You can actually take all of this and also make like a, a thick gravy out of this. But what I am showing you today is almost like a pan cooked tandoori, and that's also like with a difference because this, of course, is spicy. It's flavorful. It's deep red in color. Eventually, you increase the spices or this paste. Add in some stock. Add in some water and make a curry, which also could be a lal pari curry. But for now, this is just perfect. To this, I'm adding in salt. mustard oil in this case a little more because you're also looking at not just the flavor but also the moisture from this oil and you rub this onto the pieces of chicken now the chicken pieces of course are washed nicely they're cleaned they're patted dry and they're also gashed so that the marination seeps straight within once this is marinated and ready You can keep this overnight covered in the refrigerator and cook this nice and fresh when you have your guests coming home or just like me the impatient varun namda cooking it right away I'm not even waiting for the pan to actually heat up I'm just placing the pieces of chicken like so allow me to wash my hands and after that I'm going to show you another layer of flavor in this recipe and this layer of flavor ladies and gentlemen is desi ghee well not just mustard oil but also desi ghee for that added richness and flavor we need to keep turning the sides time and again to ensure that the burn spots are kind of even and after this i'm going to add in half a cup of water and cover this like so the idea is to ensure that this of course cooks from within but also starts getting caramelized on the outside that's chicken lal pari for all of you let's allow this to cook with this our chicken lal pari is done and ready and with this of course the flame now comes the whole idea of plating this now in the bowl or in a platter you take any rice any pulao any pilaf of your choice
And the next step is to garnish this with some slices of onions, some sauteed capsicum, and coriander leaves. With this, chicken lal pari is done and ready. Make this for your family, make this for your friends. Invite them for lunch or dinner and surprise them with this conversation starter. With this, this is me, the Bombay chef Varun Namdar, signing off. Bye for now.